Hey what's up guys welcome back to a new video on the channel so today we're going to look into the website builder Weebly I'm gonna walk you through all the steps how you can use this website builder to make your very own website make a blog or make an e-commerce website but let's just jump straight into the tutorial so the first thing you want to do is click the link down in the description so you can follow along this tutorial you'll make sure you want to make sure you are on the same page as i am and then just follow along every step i do uh, and if you already have an account just log in and do as i do let's start off so this is the page you're gonna land on once you're on this page you'll see all the features about Weebly uh, what you can do all the themes that they offer you know, they're selling points essentially so what you want to do here is just click on create your website once you're on this page just create an account like you would do for any other website so I'm gonna do that right now once you have created your account and logged into Weebly you will see this dashboard right here it might look a bit different compared to how mine looks because I already had an account uh, which I logged into uh, but what you want to do once you're actually logged into Weebly is just as easy as create a new website uh, and once you have clicked that button right here it's gonna load a bit uh, and then it's gonna ask you if you need a website or if you're looking to start an e-commerce website uh, so this is up to you if you're looking to sell stuff online if you're looking to start your clothing or your uh, whatever product you're trying to sell obviously you want to go for the e-commerce option uh, in this video we're gonna walk through how you can make your website which is not gonna go through the e-commerce uh, functionalities of Weebly. Uh, this is definitely going to be an upcoming video so if you want that specific video make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can watch that video coming up. Uh, but let's start off with just I just need a website. Click on that and then you will see all the different themes on Weebly. Uh, so if you've been watching my channel for a while I usually talk about the Wix and Wix and Weebly there's definitely some difference between the different website builders and it's really just up to you which one you prefer uh, but when it comes to themes I know that Wix offers uh, many different themes depending on what kind of business you're running while Weebly is definitely a bit more limited uh, but they still have some really good looking themes that you can pick from uh, so what you can do right here is either go to business, portfolio, personal, event, blog, coming soon, or, or others. Uh, so let's say we want to start our uh, local burger chain. So this theme right here looks really good. Uh, something you have to think about just with Wix. All these themes can be added there so that you can, you can make them fit your business no matter what niche you're in. So let's say you're a construction company and you want to use this hamburger theme because you think it looks super good. You can still do that and just change the content on the actual theme to make it fit your brand. So just because the theme itself is about hamburgers or juices doesn't mean it can fit your company. Uh, but I'm gonna go with this one right here with the burgers. So what we got right here is a preview of how the theme looks. I think it looks super good for a local website, uh, especially if you're running a local restaurant, this one looks perfect, has everything you need. It tells you about the restaurant location when it's open. Super simple and super good. So what we're gonna do is click on start editing. Once you have clicked start editing, you'll have to select your domain. So if you don't have a domain yourself, you can either connect or transfer your current domain to Weebly. Otherwise, you can also just purchase a domain directly from Weebly. Uh, so let's say we want to choose New York Hamburger as our name, .com. You can just click search and then you'll see that it's definitely not available, but it'll give you some new ideas on domains you can get. So webnewyorkhamburger.com. Uh, just your usually what you just want to put is just your company name uh, but for now I'm gonna go with a free option which is super good if you're just editing your website and once you release and publish your website you can go ahead and connect the domain this way you can spend a lot more time just yourself on working on the actual website and then when you actually need a domain for the public just you can get it once you publish the website live uh, so for now I'm gonna go with the free option uh, which you don't want to use once you release it because it has .weebly.com which doesn't look that professional so if you're running a company and you want your website to look more professional you don't want to have this as your domain but we're going to go for it right now so just click done and right here we do have the Weebly editor 
Uh, in the Weebly editor, you can see all your different elements on this side. These are elements you can just drag and drop directly on the page. Uh, you can also see the different elements on the page itself. So if you hover with your mouse over these elements, uh, you can see that you can interact with most of these elements directly on the page. Something else we have on the top right here is that you can edit on mobile. Uh, so if you just change device, you can see how the website is going to look once the user is on mobile instead of just on PC. Uh, but we're going to go back to a desktop editor uh, and we're going to change this very basically. So local burgers down right. We want to change this text. So all you do is just click on it and then just grab the text and then just type whatever you want. So New York hamburgers may be the best New York hamburgers like that. And as you can see, it doesn't really look that good because the text is too big. So what we can just do is make the size a bit smaller. Uh, let's see. Uh, something like that. I think it looks good. Basically anything you can do right now is just click the element you want to change. Uh, so let's sh say we want to change the actual color of this text. Just click on the color picker up here. You can change the text directly and it's going to change how the text looks on the website. I want to keep it on white because I think white looks super good. Uh, I'm going to make sure it's actually super white. So let's just grab up there. And there we go, full white. We have our button right here. Same thing for this, you just click on it and then you'll have the different options. If you used Wix before, it's super, super similar to Wix. Offers uh, usually some of the same uh, features. So let's say button text, we wanna change the text. Uh, let's go back, uh, learn more. Let's say we wanna have learn more right there. Uh, you can change the style how it's gonna look. So these are gonna be pre-made uh, styles. I think that one looks pretty good. I want it to be big and clear. You can also change where you want it to be. So in the middle, on the side, left, right, uh, anywhere you want it. And then you have your linking. So you can link it to somewhere. Either you can like, link it to a standard page, product page, blog post, phone number. So when people click on the actual button, it will call. And if you're on a phone, it's just gonna call straight away. Uh, but if you are on the computer, it's usually going to ask you if you want to call from Skype or something else like that. Uh, you can also add email. So when people click on the button, it's going to open their email directly and make people send emails to you. You can have file. So when people click, they will download a file. Uh, so if you're doing music or if you want people to be able to get a free file, so a free report, whatever it can be, uh, you can just have people uh, get the file once they click the button itself. Super easy, uh, super straightforward, and it might be a bit challenging in the start. It might seem a, a bit more advanced than it is, but once you get started and once you actually start focusing on what you're doing and learn more about the tool itself, you'll definitely get used to it and you'll definitely get better. Uh, so let's just keep going uh, just to show you guys around. So we have images right here. We can edit it or we can replace. Uh, we want to replace this burger right here. So you can either upload from directly from your computer or you can search for a photo. So let's do hamburger. Let's see what we get. <laughs> so obviously these, these images right here are super good quality, uh, but I think this one right here is actually pretty good. So I'm gonna replace that and put it on the website. And there we go, we changed the image. It's definitely not as high quality as you probably want it to be and you want to make sure it's the right dimensions. Obviously, this is not a straight image. It's not going to fit as good as the last image did. And then you have the text right here. You can just change it as usual. You have a spacer. What spacers does is just add space between the website. Uh, super good if you want to add some air uh, to make your website feel a bit more fresh instead of putting all the content like very tight and knit together. Then if we scroll down, we have our house and location. So how you change your location, you just click on the map and you can add whatever you want right here. So usually the name of your business. If you're not on Google yet, you're not going to be able to find yourself. Uh, but if you want to add yourself on Google, just Google for Google my business and you can add yourself on Google. Uh, but it, uh, otherwise you can just type the town you're in. Uh, so let's just type New York uh, and let's hope it actually finds New York. Okay, dead. So you can just type the city you want, uh, the street your business is on, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but right here I put New York, so now it's gonna show New York instead. 
business hours, just click on it. You can go ahead and change the business hours. So we can change it to 12 p.m. instead. Maybe Sunday we close at 8 p.m. Uh, here you go to address as well, so you can change the address. Everything is super straightforward and easy with Weebly. It's definitely more easy than Wix as well, uh, which makes it super good if you're just a beginner and you're not very technical. This is going to be the best option for you. Uh, when we keep going, you still have all these different options. Uh, what we're going to do though is go to pages. And what pages is going to do is show us the different pages on the website. So you have menu, about, or locations. So locations is super good if you have a business that have multiple locations. And obviously these pages, you can rename them, you can make new pages, and you can make the pages about what you want. So let's say you're a personal trainer. Obviously these are not exactly going to be what you're looking for. So what you can do instead is add a new page with say, uh, let's say clients, previous clients, uh, previous people you worked with, uh, achievements and stuff like that. So there's going to be different things for different businesses and different niche that you want to add as pages. Uh, but for this restaurant, this seems super good. Uh, you can add your different, uh, different restaurants. Uh, you have your about. About is usually every website has an about page, it gives more history behind the company or yourself. Uh, so right here you can change whatever you want, make it fit your company. Uh, you obviously don't want to have pictures of burgers if you are a construction company, so forth and so on. Super easy and you will get it once you start. Right here it's super important that you make sure that you have edited all the content on the website before you make sure you publish it. Uh, so let's say you only edit the home page and then when your clients get on the website and they go to the about page, and it's all of a sudden about hamburgers, it's obviously not gonna look that good. So you wanna make sure that everything on your website is finished. And if you don't wanna keep a, uh, keep a page, you can just click on the three dots right here and you can just click on delete. And that way this page is gone and clients can no longer access it. And another thing you can do is click on the three dots and you can also change the visibility to public to site password, uh, members or groups. So if you put it on site password, uh, no one is going to be able to access that page unless they have the actual uh, password to access the page. Uh, members or groups are going to be members on your website. It's a bit more advanced. I'll probably talk about that in another video. But if you have something that is work in progress, just make sure you put visibility on either password uh, or members and groups. Okay, next we have theme. Under theme, you can change some settings within the theme itself. So you can change it from light to dark. Uh, let's click on dark, see what happens. So now the theme itself changed a bit to dark. I like it better in light, so we're gonna go back to light. And uh, then you can change your theme itself. So the whole theme, uh, you can just go to whatever theme you want. If you worked on your website and you're like, oh, this doesn't look that good, you can just go ahead and change the different theme. And this is something that Wix is not offering, uh, which is, I think it's a super good thing because you usually end up working with a theme and eventually you're like, oh no, I like this theme better. Uh, so this is definitely good to have, but let's close that and go to change fonts. So right here, you can change the fonts on the whole website according to what you like. Uh, you can change everything from the links to buttons, headlines, phone numbers, everything has a specific font once you change it, it's going to change all the fonts on the whole website, which is which makes everything fit together and makes it look super professional. Other theme options is usually like search box, collapse navigation. Uh, collapse navigation you can see on top right here. It's going to be this menu instead of this menu. Uh, I like both, but I think I prefer this one. Collapse menu is usually more popular just for the mobile version. You can have it on your PC as well or desktop. We're not gonna look at the store today. Uh, we're gonna look through apps a little bit. In apps, it's just like Wix. You can find different apps that other people have made and you can install them directly on your website. Uh, so if there's something you're missing, you can just go to the app store and search for whatever feature you want and then just install it directly on the site. Uh, we're not going to do that right now because it's going to take time. So we're going to exit the app store and uh, then we have settings. Here you can change everything from your domain, your subscription, the name of your website, uh, certain business, you can change your favicon. You'll have to upgrade your website to do this, but it's definitely worth to do it once you actually do it. You can add a site password, you have a navigation. 
other information just in general about your website. Uh, you can have your cookie and you can change basically everything on your website. You also have your SEO, editors, members, my apps and blog. The last thing we're gonna change on the website is change our text up here. Let's just change it to New York Burgers. You can obviously change this to your logo as well to make it a bit more professional. But if you don't have a logo, that will work for now. Uh, and once you're actually finished, all you have to do is click publish and your website is going to be live. Uh, you can visit it right here. Obviously you wanted to change your domain before you publish it, but this is how your website is gonna look. Something you probably have noticed right now that it says powered by Vibly down here, which doesn't look that professional. You're also gonna have no options to change the bottom, which also is not gonna look very professional from a customer point of view. Uh, so what you wanna do is go back to your editor and click on upgrade. So here you got all the different plans for Vibly. And the different plans, as you see, start from four to up to eight, 12, 25. And it really depends what kind of features you're after. Uh, usually what I recommend, as it says on the page right here as well, is a starter, uh, which and it lets you add a custom domain uh, and you can also remove all the Weebly ads from your website. And that is the most important feature because even though you're paying for $4 a month, you're still gonna have those ads on your website, which is not super professional. But if you don't mind having those ads on your website, you can go ahead with a $4 package, which is a good starting point. Uh, but if you feel like you don't wanna have those ads and if you are actually a professional company, just go to the starter package. It's gonna be a lot better for your company. Uh, and once you have selected your plan, upgraded your website, you can connect your new domain and you can also go ahead and remove these ads and you have more options to change actual footer on your website, which is gonna be the bottom right here. If you want more content around Weebly, make sure you like this video. Comment if you have any questions about your Weebly website. But that is gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the very next video.